Guys, there was recently a secret update in Forza Horizon 5 that literally changes everything in regards to making money fast. Due to this recent change, it's now easier than ever to farm regular wheel spins, super wheel spins, and ultimately money. Now, in case you didn't see my last video, the change that I'm talking about is actually the fact that when you buy a used car in the auction house, it will now reset the skill mastery tree when you collect the car. Before, you had to be careful you didn't buy cars that already had their skill tree upgraded, but not anymore. Now be sure to watch this video all the way through so you don't miss out on what I'm about to show you because we haven't had a money method as overpowered as this in a very long time and in this video I'm going to show you guys the cheapest and best cars to buy to farm wheel spins. Now real quick if you guys are wondering how to unlock the all new series 13 cars instantly such as the new Dodge Viper AE, the Eagle Speedster and more check out the new series 13 Forza Horizon 5 modded accounts and personal account mods now available at MitchCactus.com the number one Forza Horizon 5 service provider with well over 4,000 Trustpilot reviews. So to start, go and make sure you have the Chevy Corvette Forza Edition and you're going to want to make sure you have a good tune on the car. So I'll be sure to include one in the description of this video. Apart from this, you should also make sure you upgrade everything in the skill mastery tree so that you can guarantee you earn the most amount of skill points while doing this race. Now once that's all taken care of, you can go to the event lab, event blueprints, and then enter the share code I am here. This is going to show you an AFK race and you're going to want to start the event and then go into difficulty and settings and copy the settings I have on screen now. So once the race loads up, all you need to do now is just hold down the gas, you know the drill, tie a rubber band or, or a string around your controller, put a weight on your keyboard, basically just let this race play out while holding down the gas and you're going to achieve high skill chains and that's going to give you guys hundreds of skill points. Now remember you can end the race at any point by pressing the e-brake and once you've finished the race and have got yourself some skill points, we can now begin converting them into regular and super wheel spins. Now some of you may be wondering what is the best car to go and buy from the auction house to get super wheel spins fast and I would have to say that without a doubt the Deberti Wrangler is your best option. You can get them for a buyout of 150,000 credits and the skill mastery tree includes 8,000 XP, 10 Forzathon points, 50,000 credits back, as well as a super wheel spin. So you guys can literally get super wheel spins for 100,000 credits using this method. Next up, we have the Audi R8 V10 Plus, which can be purchased in the auction house for around 200,000 credits. And this car's skill mastery tree includes 25,000 credits and both a regular and super wheel spin. The next car is the POP50. This car has a pretty high buyout of around 500,000 credits. However, this is a great car to bid on and get for cheaper than the buyout price. I was able to bid on one and got it for only 35,000 credits, which is pretty insane considering you can get a super wheel spin on this vehicle's skill mastery tree. Next up, we have the Nissan Fairlady Z, which can be purchased for around 200 to 300,000 credits. And this car's skill mastery tree includes a super wheel spin. Next, the Ford Puma Forza Edition can be purchased for around two to 300,000, and it includes a wheel spin, a super wheel spin, and 75,000 credits back. Next up is the Hoonigan Ford RS200, and this car has a pretty high buyout of around 500,000 credits. However, this is a great car to bid on and get for cheaper than the buyout price. Now, you can get a super wheel spin on this vehicle's skill mastery tree, so it's definitely a good option if you can get it for the right price. You can get the Bugatti Devo for around 300,000 credits, and the skill tree does include 50,000 credits back, 20,000 XP, which is essentially at least one free regular wheel spin from leveling up, another regular wheel spin, and two super wheel spins. So guys, the rewards for this car are absolutely insane, and it's easily one of the best methods to use for farming. Additionally, you guys can sell this car afterwards and make the money you spent back. Therefore, you're basically going to get two regular wheel spins and two super wheel spins for free, using this method. You can get the 2018 X-Motive Off-Road Forza Edition for 92,000 credits in the auction house, and the skill mastery tree includes 25,000 credits back and two regular wheel spins. So this car is definitely a good option to use because you can end up getting two regular wheel spins for around 65,000 credits. The next car is the 1987 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am Forza Edition, which can be purchased in the auction house for 300 to 400,000 credits. However, you can always bid on one like I did. I ended up grabbing one for 200,000 credits. And the cool thing about this vehicle is that you can get two super wheel spins from the skill mastery tree. 
So it's definitely a great car for farming. Now, if you guys are looking for the best way to farm skill points so that you can use them to get the spins from these cars, go ahead and watch this video here to see the most up-to-date AFK skill point farm.